So mga kabanat, narito yung committee report ni Senator Gordon at uh, partial committee report. Sabi niya nga dito, hindi na, may, mayroon pa daw silang hahabulin kaya tinatawag nila itong partial. So napakarami ang ano, na inintroduce na makakasuhan na ni Ms. Mago Aling, uh, Lincoln Ong ang silaw na hindi na daw mahagilap ngayon mula nung naglabas ng uh, memorandum itong si President Duterte na mga pinigilin na hindi mag-aatin eh, nagtataka daw si Senator Gordon bakit itong silaw ay hindi rin umatin hindi naman ito kabilang sa hindi naman daw kabilang ito sa kabiniti na ni President Duterte pero bakit itong silaw ay nawala nawala nung naglabas ng uh, so napakaraming uh, at uh, pati si President Duterte ay tinawag na uh, parang uh, hindi mapagkatiwalaan parang public trust parang ano parang uh, anong tawag doon nabukta ko yung sinabi doon ni Senator Gordon sa post ng uh, mainstream media pero parang hindi kasama si President Duterte sa nakasuan. Bagko sa bagamat ay binanata ni Senator Gordon dahil nga si President Duterte siya yung nagtatanggol. Ang nakasuan lang talaga dito sila ni Doge at papunta pababa sa PSDBM at uh, pa, dito rin sa Parmali kasama dyan yung mga uh, pati si Ms. Mago na sa tila kala siya yung susolve ngayon nga lang ay bumalikta din yung kinalaunan dahil nga gipit na gipit na siguro dahil nga magigisa magigisa talaga siya dahil wala naman talagang dokumento pala na uh, maipapakita sila pag ginagawa nilang transaksyon sa Parmali at uh, itong sa pagitan ng Parmali na uh, PSDP so panoorin nyo itong mga wala uh, itong uh, uh, partial Committee report ni Senator Gordon. Itong araw na ito ay nilabas niya kasi. We have several details that emerge during the Senate hearings from testimonies and documents are facts, not baseless, and unfounded accusations thrown arbitrarily for the sake of building a case. It is difficult to believe, napakahirap tanggapin, na ang Pangulong Duterte ay walang kamuhang-muhang sa mga nangyayari that he was oblivious to what transp transpired. The financier of Parmali is his longtime friend. Magmula pa noong 1999, si Michael Young, isang mainland Chinese national who held an appointment as a presidential, presidential economic advisor at kasakasamang madalas nila President Duterte, nila Secretary Bongo, uh, nila... Uh, Lin Wei Xiong at saka ng ibang mga kasama. All of the government officials who approve the transactions are or were presidential appointees, many of whom had long-standing relationships with the president, whether as an election supporter, fraternity brother or consultant in his previously held offices, or appointed in places like Uh, presidential uh, secret, uh, do sa uh, housing land uh, urban realty board o di kaya nahalo pa do sa investigasyon na tinatawag na frigate na nahalo siya habang siya ay under secretary doon sa uh, office na special uh, uh, assistant The president as chief executive should have known what was going on under his nose. Ni maari niyang hindi malaman yan. If he did not, he surely became aware of it when the investigation was underway. But when the anomalies were brought to light in the Senate, na lumabas sa Senado, the president, instead of getting to the bottom of the situation and punishing those responsible, ay talaga naglabas siya at nagasik siya ng lagim at dilim at pananakot at pagbumura and threatened the Senate and the Senators 
and erected obstacles in the course of the investigation and committed grave abuse of power by preventing the appearance and cooperation of officials from the executive department at Sinigil Nyalka and Blue Ribbon Committee. At bago yan, alam naman po natin, talagang diniscourage siya ang tao at sinira-tira niya ang commission on audit. At ang sabi, huwag pakinggan. At yan pa nga, nakikita nyo, sinabi niya, let's kidnap, torture, COA personnel. At hindi ko lang masabi, mababasa naman nyo uh, na kung ano sinabi na maanghang at masakit. Hindi din na sabi ng isang pangulo niya. Katulad ng huka, huwag ko kayong maniwala sa mga investigasyon. At nakalagalay pa dyan uh, sa nakakarina, si uh, yung sa COA, itong putang inang COA. Sorry na lang po, kailangan sabihin ko. Uh, yung sinabi niya sa COA, if you go back here, kanina, uh, makikita nyo ang sabi niya, huwag pakinggan. Uh, ang putang inang yung COA na yan. Let's say kasi yung COA. And I quote, every time may mali talaga. Ano ba naman itong COA na ito? Kung mag-kidnap tayo ng taga-COA, lagay natin, i-torture natin dito, tang ina sa Duterte on Tuesday, January 8, 2019. Umpisa pa lang, talagang dinidiscourage na ng tao. Sabi niya pa, sino ang taga-COA dito? Ihulog muna sa agdan para di mag-report sa Duterte during a meeting with his cabinet and Marcos in Lawag City. Pattern of consistent intimidation has started and harassment and erratic behavior. The cabinet uh, can replace him, actually. Pero nung nagsimula na itong Parmali, nung naglabas uh, na ang COA, ayan na, talagang he poured on the vitriol at uh, kung pa, uh, wag ko kayo maniwala sa mga investigasyon. Investigasyon. Kita naman ninyo, walang mangyayari. Eh talaga, walang mangyayari kung hindi talaga tutulungan ng Pangulo. Puro lang, we will investigate. We will investigate. Kung pakinggan mo yung mga ibang senador dyan, sabi naman niya sa Senado, meron talaga ang masabi. After an investigation, one or two or three days, then you're hearing, wala na. Walang rekomendasyon, walang dinidemanda, walang napreso, puro postura lang at the depression. Alam po ng bayan, hindi po nangyari yan sa Blue Ribbon. Meron tayong report at marami tayong napakulong. Pasensya na lang po, Mr. President. Ginagalang ko pa rin kayo. Alam ko ang komisya, nagagalit kayo. Hindi nyo makontrol ang inyong emotions. Uh, he erected obstacles in the course of the investigation and committed grave abuse of power by preventing the appearance and cooperation of officials from the executive department. Sabi niya, you will create a crisis here. Pag ganyan ang vision niyo, I will not allow any cabinet member to go to Congress to testify. Gawin na ninyo ang gusto ninyo kung ano ang gawin niyo. Sabi ni President Duterte. August 31, 2021. Talagang laying the predicate na hindi niya napagpupuntahin. Ang masakit pa, talaga napakasakit. He repeatedly and publicly defended and protected those closest to him who had been found to have dipped their fingers into the coffers of the nation at a time when our people were suffering and still are. Sabi niya, walang kasalanan niya. Sabi niya, pagador lang yan, nagninegosyo lang yan. At sabi niya, awag tayong pakinggan. Kailangan po ipagtanggol ng mga senador ang independence ng senado. Kailangan rin ipagtanggol ng senado tulad natin na tayo ay pakinggan natin ang COA. Lahat tayo na ako COA. At ito sabi niya nga, ang defense kay Michael Young and Lau on August 31 kasi si Michael Young daw negosyanto ito adre. Hindi naman ito nagtatapon ng pera. May contact ito sa China na malalaking korporasyon. At siya ang nagpagador. Made their entry here, said Duterte. At ito ang nangyari. Undeterred, the Senate, a co-equal branch of government, 
Do not allow this. Hindi namin pwedeng payagan yan. To prevent us from discovering the truth, hindi kami pwedeng tigilan na maglabas ang katotohanan. Tanggalin ang mga maskara ng mga magnanakaw at ma-expose sila sa kanilang graft and corruption and from making known and, and to make known their misdeeds uh, sa Pangulo para malaman ng Pangulo pero hindi pa rin pinakainggan at para sa madla the misdeeds of certain officials of this administration. Unfortunately, kung nanahimik na lamang sana, ay eh okay na. Eh panay pa rin ang pukol na masasakit sa saluta. Hindi naman po kami bumabawi. Pero nagpapatunay na parang may tinatago at may tinagtatanggol. Hindi parang talagang may tinatago at tinagtatanggol. The presence on behavior leaves us therefore to conclude nothing less pati magla. Nothing less that he was aware of, alam niya, allowed and condoned. Pinabayaan niya. <coughs> Tinolerate niya. <coughs> the misdeeds of his closest associates and appointees. Para bagang akala ng mga namumuno at marami na tayong nakita sa mga nakaraan, pagka ikaw namumuno, hindi ka pwede magkamali at ikaw ay protektado ng posisyon mo. Pero lahat po ay may katapusan. Kaya yung kanyang sinasabi na hindi niya uh, lumalabas na uh, ang kanyang behavior ay talagang may makakapagsabi ba na hindi alam ng Pangulo kung ano nangyayari dyan? Napapaniwalaan ba ng tao na hindi nangyayari na? Ayan, lalo na palagi niyang pinagtatanggol, uh, minumurang COA, minumurang Senado, at uh, talagang uh, pinipigil niyang umaten ang mga tauha niya sa Senado. Samantalang wala namang problema. Padalain niya lang doon. May gagalangin naman. At pakikinggan naman. At hindi ba sa kagustuhan ng Pangulo na matigil ang korupsyon kung lalabas yun, ay talaga matutulungan pa namin ang kanyang administrasyon. Kaya yun sa kanya mga ginawa na pagtatanggol, pagbubuska at pagtatago sorry, the President must be held accountable. Kaya ngayong mga uh, panahon na ito, napakahirap ng katayuan namin. Uh, gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo, lahat ay talagang uh, kailangan gawin ang tungkulin para sa kapakalan ng bayan. Isa lang ang bansa natin. Ito ang nangyaring pandemya ng ito ay marami ng kiritil, hindi lang dito sa Pilipinas, muna sa buong mundo. Pero paano tayo tutulungan kung di natin pwedeng ipakita sa buong mundo na kung may katiwalaan, kaya natin iayos at parusahan yung mga nangaalipusta at talaga nag-aabuso sa ating mga kababayan. Paano maniniwala ang tao kung ay pagtatanggol ng mga matataas yung mga kasinungalingan. At pag nagtanggal yung kasinungalingan, pag nagtanggol yung kasinungalingan, ang lalabas, mawawala ng trust o kumpiyansa ang mga tao. At pag nawala yung trust, ay talagang hihina lalo ang ating bansa, hindi lang ngayon, ngunit talaga manghihina ang ating batas. At the time when our people needed their government, at the time our people were sick, at the time when some people, or many of our people were dying or have died, at the time na marami na nawala ng trabaho, walang pambili, naguguto, napipilit pa wala ng dignidad at umasa na lang sa ayuda. Itong mga taong nabanggit ko na rito, nagsamantala, nangulimbat, at inaruga. They all chose to make money. And that is my preliminary statement, ladies and gentlemen. At uh, maraming salamat. I understand Senator Pacquiao is present. I called all the other senators this morning. 
I did not accept any uh, invitations to be interviewed last night. There were several and this morning precisely because I wanted this to be known throughout the whole uh, press corps and the whole media corps, not in aid of re-election. I've been re-elected before. And I don't need this to be re-elected. Believe you me, it's been hard for my family. But nonetheless, this has to be done. And I thank you for your patience and compassion. Abuhi po ang ating bansa. I will now receive your questions. And thank you, Senator Pacquiao. Before I close, I just want to thank some of our people who help us. Lalo na yung accountant na si Mona Brea na talaga makakapagpatunay na yung ibang sinami na. Hindi ko na nasabi dito pero makikita nyo doon sa report na talagang lumalabas pa na karamihan ay hindi na i-deliver. Yung mga binili sapagat yan ay mga consumable. At nagpapasalamat rin ako kay General Samonte na sa kanyang usaa na mga nahuli nila yung mga katulad nila Dargani pinagtatsagaan nila at pati sa Pasay uh, sa City Jail na inaalagaan yung mga Dargani doon. Salamat rin ako kay Talk Sir Tony Liachon na palaging nag-a-attend at nakakapagbigay ng kanyang mga tamang ulat uh, at lalong-lalo na nagpapasalamat ako sa mga healthcare workers mga doktor, nurses mga assistant sa hospital na na-expose at saka sa mga alayang sila, mga janitors yung mga driver ng ambulansya na talagang pinapain ang kanilang buhay, sinasakripisyo para mara mabuhay hindi para uh, magpasasa, ngunit para magsilbi sa bayan at napapasalamat po ako sa lahat ng mga sumusumaybay at uh, nabibigay ng encouragement sa lahat ng mga senador na naniniwala sa ginagawa namin lahat ng mga nabibigay ng mga impormasyon na hindi namin makukuha kapagat sinara na ang mga opisina ng gobyerno sa amin at uh, dito sa mga taong bayan na sumusumaybay nagbibigay sa amin ng lakas ng loob at pangadasal upang ipaglaban ang katotohanan uh, so my fellow senators thank you for your hard work we may not agree all together but this is the time to do our duty. Let us not shirk from our responsibility. For one brief shining moment, let us go for the truth. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Mabuhay ang pretty. Thank you so much, sir. The first one to ask for is Ms. Eli Bueno, DWIC. Ms. Eli. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Sally. Uh -huh. Sir, una muna, pwedeng malaman ilan na sa mga miyembro ng Blue Ribbon Committee ang kumirma doon sa inyong na partial committee report. Dahil naka-lockdown tayo, tawagan lang ang nangyayari. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a substantial number. And uh, this morning, this afternoon, we intend to bring it to the floor. And they said that they will support it. Okay. So, sir, confident ka na makakakuha ito ng signature ng majority? Kasi na-mention nyo no na hindi ka sigurado dahil kasama nga po sa inyong inire-recommend na panagutin si Pangulong Duterte. Well, hindi naman habla yun. Eh. Hindi naman uh, makakasangga yung alam ko naman na ginagapan na ibang mga senador. Nagdasal lang kami. And bago kami nag-report sa inyo, nagdasal muna yung staff ko rito mm -hmm. na huwag maagaw ng masama yung pagbibigay ng katotohanan. Naniniwala pa rin ako sa Panginoon Diyos. Mm -hmm. Sana basbasan sila. At uh, mahirap kalaban ng Pangulo. Nakita niya na kung gano'n ako hirap. Ngayon lang ako nakakita ng Pangulo na talagang hinaarang lahat ang paraan para malaman ng katotohanan. Ganun pa man, we will stand on our report. I think it is a very substantial report. 18 days pinaghirapan ang minority floor leader, sila Senate President, ang mga tao, even sila uh, Senator uh, uh, President Pro Tempore, uh, sila uh, mga tao na maalalay sa atin, sila Senator Pangilinan, sila Senator uh, Antivero, Senator Pacquiao, mm -hmm. at uh, uh, sila Senator Pimentel, tumutulong sa investigasyon at maraming maraming tumutulong. I think uh, 
Warlands malalaman nyo na talagang uh, I hope hindi mahati ang Senado it would be tragic kung mahati ang Senado on partisan basis ang okay. dapat maghati lang ang Senado between truth and lies sana sumang sana o sumang ayaw sila sa katotohanan so, sir, at pinaghirapan Sir, sa oras na ito, may figure na kayo ilan na yung pumirma. Kasi doon sa mga tinanong naming senador, ay sa palang sumagot na pumirma na si Senator Pantilo Lasson, sabi niya, I signed it with the reservation. And then the rest, lahat po sila sabi niya, binabansa, nire-review pa ho nila yung report. Uh, I have an idea, but I don't want to uh, steal the thunder from them. Mm-hmm. They have committed. Alam ko si Manny Pacquiao, patatalo niyo siya. Nangako ba siya na sagot na ibang mga senador. Nakausap ko na rin yung ibang senador na yan. Mm-hmm. Uh, sa kukusap ko si Senator Poe, si Senator Caetano, okay sila. Mm-hmm. Eh, wala ko, hindi naman babaliktad yung mga yan sapagkat hindi naman baliktarin yung mga yan. Kanina, mm-hmm. kausap ko si Senator Repton, 99% approved siya. Pero, ang tala like I said, uh, lalabas yan at uh, ang tiya, nakakatiyak naman kayo na tiyak yung mga Michael Young, dapat ma-deport ka agad yan. Mm-hmm. Uh, kaya na yan. Uh, yung mga Leong uh, ito ang sinalaw dapat hulihin na kagad dapat pinahuli na nga kagad yan ng administrasyon nung lumabas na yung mga kalokohan niya sila Leong ina-appoint pa nga sa ombudsman eh. uh, at nakakasiguro uh, ako doon sa mga yan siguro siyempre nag-aala nga rin yung iba dahil presidente ang kausap Uh, at siyempre may mga pinagsamayan rin sila I hope that will not be the case because kung isang you have to make the choice between what is right uh, your duty first before friendship So sir, kung today makakuha ng signature na majority i-report out nyo na po sa plenary this afternoon? Yes, I intend to do that And what is so important about getting a number? Pag lalakas ako ng loob ilang beses yun ako narinig siya ang sinasabi ko ang, katot- ang nakita ko ang katotohanan na napag-aralan namin. Nasa sa tao yan na nakikinig at babasa nito sa susulat ninyo, hindi kung sino ang boboto at hindi boboto, kung totoo ang sinasabi nitong report na ito. Kung may logic at talagang may pinaninindigan ang mga nakalap namin. Kung magkamisahan tayo sa media at ako rin ay nag-media, mm-hmm. ay ang tinitingnan natin ay yung mga bilang, yung magkano ng halaga. Wala yan eh. So, tingin ko, tayo, lalo na sa mundong maraming fake news, dapat hayaan natin ang tao na makita yung report. Sa mga totoo lang, kahit ano mangyari dyan, ang maghuhusga ang tao. Mm-hmm. Hindi mo maloloko ang tao. Sabi nga ni Lincoln, You can pull uh, some of the people some of the time. You can be, uh, pull some of the people all the time, but you cannot be, pull the people all of the time. And we are a democracy, the ultimate, ultimate decision maker would be the people. At pag nabasa nito, ay talaga maraming uh, maliliwanagan. Pwede na lang kung ikaw ay bayaran na troll sa pagkaisa ng hanap buhay mo, o ikaw ay rabbit na para may presidente at hindi kita sinisisi, hindi ko tatanggalin yung karapatan mo na kumampi sa kanya. Pero ang pagdasal ko lang ay tingnan niyo mabuti. Look at it with open eyes, with open mind, with an open heart and pray that we do the right thing because for so long, mura tayo ng mura laban sa korupsyon. Alam natin, ayaw natin ang korupsyon. Pero pag umarap na ang katibayan, panahon na parang manindigan. Where do we stand? Are we there for truth, justice, and integrity? Or are we there for convenience? Huwag ka nang makialam. Huwag ka nang magsalita. Baka pag-initan ka pa. What do you think I feel? Na ako ay sinabihan na baka balang araw, hindi ka senador, ang mga inabusa mo, baka yan ang mananakit sa'yo. What do you think I feel when the president says, bababuyin kita hanggang mamatay ka? How do you think my wife feels? My children feel? I think that you ought to know that we have to take a position. Every time I take a position, 
I pray to the Lord, dati sa lako, nabigyan ako ng wisdom, nahiraman niya ako ng wisdom niya, at yung kanyang mabuting virtues na tinuro sa akin ng mga magulang ko through Him, at yan ay dapat kong gawin. Kung ang tatay ko pinas lang, tatlong beses siya hinahabol, nanindigan pa rin siya, at tatlong taon niya nagsisimbi, hanggang siya mapatay, malapit na ang kanyang anniversary, February 20. Sino ba ako para matakot? Pwede ako matakot, pero hindi ako duwag. At makakaasa kayo, kilala naman ninyo ako. Minsan nag-iisa ako, tatayo ako dyan, maninindigan ako. Kahit na doon sa bases, naninindigan ako. Kahit na doon sa Van Marcos, naninindigan ako. Hindi ako natatakot doon sa mga nakaupo. Kapagkat tao lamang sila, mas takot ako sa parusa ng Panginoon. So sir, bibigyan niyo po ba ng copy nitong report ang DOJ at Ombudsman at umaasa kayo na moto propyo iimbisigahan nila ito oras na makita po yung laman ng, uh, ng, ng report? Palagi ko naman binibigyan eh. Ombudsman, Department of Justice, I'm a very respectful person. I want to make sure that the government has a chance to fix itself. If they become partisan, wala akong magagawa dyan. I have no control. But sometimes we win. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Si Immigration Commissioner, yung dalawa. Mm-hmm. Uh, si Robles at saka si Agusino at saka si Sombrero. Kinonvict ng Sandigang Bayang galing ang ebidensya sa Blue Ribbon Committee na nakuha yung television uh, footage na inaladala nila yung bag, nilagay nila sa kotse at itinakbo nila. At sila ngayon ay tinamaan ng plando. Hindi ba hanggang ngayon nakakulong pa si Taguba? Hindi ba hanggang ngayon nakakulong pa si Tatag? Pati si Jimmy Guba na ginamit ko nga sana na secret na. Si Jack Lam, umalis na rito. Si Rick Pyle doon na kinontempt natin na in-expose natin doon sa smuggling sa customs. Nilagay siya doon sa uh, Bureau of Prisons. Eh, ginawa na naman niya yung talagang bilababaan niya yung uh, temp- tempo. Eh, tinanggal siya dahil may kasalanan siya, pero hindi naman hinabol. Okay lang yun. Ganun talaga ang buhay natin dito. Tatanggap ko ba yun? Hindi. Pero kung tinatanggap ng tao, ang may kasalanan ang tao. Si Police Major Rodney Balayo, tao ni General uh, Albayalde, na binunyag ng pitong general, kapwa niya general, kapwa niya kabadyer sa academy hindi nakapag-retire na merong parade review doon sa kaso. Na-absorto siya ng kanyang kaklase, eh wala tayong magagawa. Pero si uh, Major Baloyo, kawawa naman yung tao niya, siya ang nakukulong hanggang ngayon sa Pampanga. At uh, ito ngayon, uh, nakikita ninyo si Mohit Dargani, nagtatanggang magsinungaling, saan kukuha ng pera na $150,000 na aeroplano, pupunta sa Davao, tatakas ang kanyang asawa, ang kanyang kapatid, at uh, nanay, kukuha ng aeroplano para sa Dubai na $150,000. Kung mga usyami yun, nakabayad siya na ng $50,000, bilo nyo, para makakuha ng private plane na daling sa Kuala Lumpur. Nahuli ng Blue Ribbon yan. At isa pa, itong si Uh, Director General Pahardo, number two ng PIDEA. Ang mga ngayon di makita dahil nahuli namin sila, nakasama sila doon sa next model ng droga at pati nga si Asierto na ngayon sila sabi si Lee Wei Xiong na hindi niya sinabi nung silama ko siya doon sa uh, investigasyon. Hinihintay ko magsabi siya doon. Nagkaroon siya ng cold creep, umalis siya. Siya mismo kasama doon sa drug investigation. Nalulungkot ako na kung sana ngayon sila sabi niya hindi ko siya tinawag tinawag ko siya dalawang beses at umalis siya nang hindi niya sabihin hindi ko naman pwede sabihin may sasabihin ito dapat ang magsasabi siya pero yung kanyang kasama na number 2 ng PIDEA nahuli bakit hindi nahuli ng PIDEA yung mga yan bakit napopromote yung iba kailangan gusto kong sabihin that's our country work that's our government work We, the people, are the only ones that can make the government work, that can change the government if we want to. And uh, if we don't do that, then we suffer the consequences. So, last na lang po on my part. 
dun ho sa recommendation na ipadeport si Michael Yang, anong agency ang dapat umaksyon and do you think mapapadeport siya under the third administration? We must. Tinanong ko ang Department of Immigration dyan last week. Mm-hmm. So, Ipinapilit ko sana mapasa yung immigration bill. At uh, kangkain ko pa. Uh, pwede bang i-deport si Yang? Pwede ho. Bakit? He has been continually committing injurious acts uh, upon our people uh, to the point that he has become an undesirable alien. And all you need is file the necessary case in court and you don't need completion. He can now be deported right away. According to Bureau of Immigration Operations Order, SBM 2014-48, dated September 3, 2021, the Bureau of Immigration can now have foreign nationals declared as undesirable aliens who in turn can be deported even without a conviction or service of sentence. The only requirement is criminal information filed in court. Dapat ipadeport ka agad dyan. And I hope President Duterte para mapakita naman niya na meron pang siyang natitilang uh, you know, presipyo ay mapadeport niya agad yan si uh, Leon. Si Wei Leon Xiong na andun sa Dubai, hindi na dumamalik. At uh, yung mga taong iba, yung inaanap natin, nandun na, kaya naging partial tuloy ito, pero tutuloy ang parati niyan uh, hanggang sa June 30. Ito ang eleksyon sa bago uh, bago matapos sa pag natapos sa eleksyon. Pero si Michael Young, pwede na siyang i-deport kaagad. Yan si Lau, pwede na siyang huliin kaagad ng NBI. Kataka ko, ba't hindi inuhuli? May admission na na negligence siya. May nakita na namin, approve na namin na hindi niya sinunod yung procurement law. Nakita na natin na walang maipakita itong parmali kung saan dinala yung pera. Walang maipakita kung saan galing ang pera. Na maaaring may money laundering. Pagalawin natin ang money laundering law. Pagalawin natin ang bank secrecy law. Pwedeng habulin yan. Kung gusto, maraming para ayaw. Maraming dahilan. Maraming dahilan. At kung hindi gagawin niya, Kawawa naman yung mga mahihirap. Basta yung sunod ng sunod, mga kababayan, hindi ito drama. Hindi ito sinehan. Ito ay tunay na nangyayari sa ating buhay na hamon sa bawat katauhan ng bawat Pilipino. Thank you, sir. Next to ask question po si Paolo Romero. Salamat, sir. Thank sir, you, good sir. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Paolo. Sir, can, can, can the Senate, the plenary, adopt a partial report? Yes, of course, it can. Okay. The Senate, the Senate is an absolute body that can do, that can do, so long as it is within the rules. Okay. Uh, the Senator Chris, uh, there is a recommendation in Abbott, na labas siya. Yung alam, hindi na pasunod. Ako rin, may recommendation ako sa ating VAXA, na usyame, pero pinuha akong chairman's report dahil nagkaroon ng technicality. But the point is, ako ang inantasan, Paolo, alam naman nyo, hindi ko hiningi ang Blue Ribbon. Dalawang beses na ako nagsilbibig ang Blue Ribbon. I never asked. Senator Pimentel knows that. The Senate President before knows that I never asked for a committee. Sa aking binigay, dahil ako na abogado, at malakas na ang loob ko, ayaw ko kung totoo yun. Pero, ginagawa ko ang tungkulin ko, mahaba nga ako mag-hearing para talaga, I don't want to be unfair. Sir, kaya so, dapat, we... yung nire-report namin, pakinggan naman nyo dahil ginamit namin, inaksaya ba namin ng oras ng tao? Hindi naman. Marami naman nakinig, marami naman umaayon, marami naman sinasabing tama yung ginagawa namin, dapat aksyonan. Sir, that's why I ask, that's why I ask that question because uh, apparently the the long and short of the, or rather the tone of the Initial statements come from Secretary Duque, from uh, spokesman Carmen Nogales, as well as the lawyers of the private, uh, uh, those what somewhat impeded by this uh, committee report, are saying that uh, these are all preliminary and they would await a formal action by uh, investigative bodies from executive aid, from the executive branch only after the Senate formally acts on, on this particular Senate, uh, committee report. So. 
So, uh, what do you say to that also that they, they want? Let me, let me be very simple and direct. I'm a lawyer. Nakikita ko, ginagawa nung pang, pang diling lang dyan sa uh, pag nanakaw dyan sa formally, sa, what, sa gobyerno. Every citizen can go to the ombudsman. The ombudsman can take action on his own, motu proprio, and they have every right to file a case. Kaya lang naging blue ribbon ito, kasi ang blue ribbon, mga senador yan, mas makakatawag at mas mabilis makakuha ng ebidensya. Nakikita nyo naman, mabilis tayo makakalap ng ebidensya. Pag tinawag po, lumalabas. Pwede lang kung pipigilin. In fact, hinihintay pa namin yun sa BIR, hinihintay pa namin yun sa customs report, hindi pa kumpleto. Pinagdadasal ko, sana maibigay. Alam ko, magagaling naman ang mga tao yan. Pero siyempre, pagkakalaban nyo ang siyang namumuno at mga kasama niya yung nakataya, aba, are we going to go to technicals and stop investigating people? Are they going to hide behind the fact na madali sila magsalita na uh, tayo ay uh, tayo ay ganyan lamang na kailangan dumaan tayo doon sa Senado? The Senate, I can do that motu proprio. That's what I did. Motu proprio. Hindi ko kailangan magpahalam sa Senado. Ito nakita ko yung masamang nangyayari. Inimbisig ako. Maraming sila doon na lumabas. Maraming nangyaring explosion. Tapos, uh, ang sasabihin nila, maghihintay sila. Eh, yan ang sinasabi ng mga taong dinidelay ang katarungan. Kung talagang wala kayong kasalanan, harapin nyo na ngayon. Pumunta na kayo, haharap kayo sa NBI. Sumumpa na kayo. At para sa ganun, magkaalaman na kung ano nagsasabi. Bakit kami ang ipapadefense nyo? Kayo ang gumawa niya. Kayo ang humarap. Ba't ako maghihintay sa inyo? Ba't maghihintay ang NBI? Ba't maghihintay ang DOJ? Eh nakita naman nyo, pagka-friendly forum, yung ilang mga kaibigan naman natin, hindi naman lahat, eh sasabihin, hindi sila guilty. Eh napaka-malinaw na malinaw naman eh. Pati yung kay Mago, kinuha si Mago, wala naman pinipilit kay Mago. Pagdating doon, pinilit ka. Hindi nyo makikita, hindi patas ang labanan. Eh ma, hindi nyo maloloko ang tao, maliwanag ang isip ng tao. So kailangan, tuluyan na natin. Bakit ba we take every opinion? I will say something that Clint Eastwood say and forgive me for saying this. Every person is, is a, a, a opinion is like assholes. Every person has one of them. Thank you. Sir, sir, um, that's uh, sir. Can even just in the event that uh, the Senate would not be able to adopt this uh, report, would you still forward the same to the DOJ or to the Office of Ombudsman? I always do that anyway. I mean, regardless of whether it's adopted or not. I always do that anyway. Why would I think of not being adopted? Even the President, Senate President, is for it. I talked with him last week. The most one thing, sabi niya ngano? Agiintay nang tao yan. Sabik nang tao yan. Okay, sir, you mentioned in the report that uh, some sort, some cases should be filed uh, against the president uh, as soon as he steps down. Uh, how, how would that go about? What cases? What ex- what example? What what charges uh, you think should be filed against him? Well, actually, sa dito lang, the uh, ombudsman can conduct an investigation even of the president, and when he finds that there is grounds uh, to file a case against him, he can file a case against the not against any court, but in the, in the in the lower house for impeachment. So there is no uh, blanket rule that the president cannot be charged. He can be charged by the ombudsman, but there is no more time. Inabot yes, tayo ng galito. So, pag tapos itong Congress, he will be an ordinary citizen. And like uh, other people who have committed crimes in this country, uh, the long arm of the law will eventually catch up with whoever Uh, is guilty. Yan ang mangyayari. Sir, but do you have in mind any any specific charge that could be filed against him? Because uh, I think your report... I think it's in the document, uh, Paolo. Pasahin mo na lang. Betrayal of public trust. Eh, in- dinilinate ko na nga eh. Uh, non-pieces na nga yung... Nakita mo na, yung taong nilagay mo, ikaw ang naglagay, mali pala yung nilagay mo. Dapat tinanggal mo kagad. Okay. At ka nagbibigay ng walang... Uh, uh, di mo sinusunod yung... Ang lalaking pera, bilyon-bilyon, hindi ka ba magugulat, bilyon-bilyon, ginagawa ni Lau, 
isang tao na hindi hinagal ng bayan, nasa isang madaling na kwarto sila ni Leo, at sila ang nagde-decide kung ilang bilyon ang ibibigay sa isang korporasyon na hawak ng isang mainland Chinese? Hindi ka ba gagalaw doon? Alay mo, Paolo, Paolo, ikaw gagalaw ka eh. Sir, sir, oh. last question. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Well, anyway, uh, sir, you think, ano, uh, you think uh, those people who are detained will be, when we, when do you think they will be, if ever they will be uh, released? If they testify, we will call them, even during the campaign. I'm still a senator, I'm still senators until July, until June, June 30. And if they testify, fine. They don't testify, they will be there until June 30. By force of law, sir. Fa- sorry, final question. When do you think the the complete or the any addition to this partial report will be coming out? When yeah. we get all these people, even beyond the term of the senators or my term or whatever it is, pag nahuli na natin yung iba pa yan, marami pang lalabas yan. Marami na lalaman si Uso niya. Ang dami daming building na ginawa nila. Ang dami daming corporations. Ha? Ah? Naghalo halong kalamay na. Presidente si Rose Nono. Corporate Secretary si Gerald Cruz. Ang dami nila. Nagkakasama sila. Yan ang web of corruption ni Michael Young na hindi nagbayad ng tax magbula noong 1999 na nagbayad lang siya noong 2018 at bigla siya nagkaroon ng dami-daming korporasyon kasama siya at hanggang ngayon sasabihin natin hindi siya pwede ma-deport. Sorry po. Hindi po ako Pilipinong ganun na maniniwala na lamang na lulukulukuhin tayo ng isang banyaga na hindi naman ginagawa ang tungkulin. Marami yung mga Filipino-Chinese na talaga nagsisikap, napapayaman ng bansa. Pero ito, mainland Chinese, ang pinayaman niya, sarili niya, inasikaso niya, yung bulsa niya, at yung mga kasama niya. Sir, thank you very much. Sir. You're welcome. Hi, sir. May an po ang TV. Hi, may an po you. Hi sir, I'm good po. Sir, medyo konti, uh, in relation lang po to uh, Paolo's uh, question. Sir, sabi niyo kasi doon sa inyong uh, committee report, tama po. However, at some point after his term of office, charges must be considered against President Rodrigo Duterte and so on and so forth. Aside from betrayal of public trust, ano pa po yung nakikita niyong posibleng ikaso sa Pangulo knowing that you said nangyari ito under his watch, alam, nyo, kinundo, alam niya, kinundo niya. Ano pa yung mabibigat na kasong pwedeng isang pa sa Pangulo? After his term. Kasama nila sa recital ng betrayal of public trust. Meron siyang inciting to sedition. Di ba? Huwag kayong pumunta dyan. Huwag kayong maniwala dyan. That is inciting to sedition. Uh, uh, inexcusable negligence of duty. Dapat, uh, uh, bakit mo nilagay si Michael yan? Alam mo ang Chinese citizen yan? Ilalagay mo sa corridor of power? makakapakinig doon sa gagawin natin sa West Philippine Sea although hindi kasama dito yan ha? pero makakabulong siya kung uy, may pagkakataon tayo boss magkakaroon ng pandemic sigurado bibili ng marami yan makakagawa tayo ng pera dyan ang dami yung pwedeng ipasok ni Michael yan pinapasok mo yung ahas doon sa poultry yan ang nangyari dyan eh pangalawa breach of official duty by malpisas or mispisas yung mga coach niya against BRC and senators uh, violation niya nung oath niya na to respect the constitution that there are branches of the constitution like the senate na dapat galangin huwag mong, pag, uh, huwag mong harangin o yung, yung uh, COA pagtanggol mo ang COA yun yung COA nag-iimbestiga yan kung may discrepancy, papaliwanag yan pagkatapos ito ang tinatawag natin na uh, Memo, naku, napakabigat doon. Ang dami ng decision dyan. Yung memo ni, uniutos niya kay, sa aking kaibigan na si Secretary Bingo Major Dea na huwag kumaten ang mga yan. Uh, nang uh, pumunta yung mga cabinet na doon sa sa, sa tinatawag ng hearing. Hearing. Uh, Pagkatapos, uh, uh, marami pa. Ba't tinanggal niya? Uh, at uh, itong uh, cronyism, alam mo, y- y- di ba yan ang mga sinasabi natin noong araw? Michael Young, ang dami. Uh, uh, yung farmali, nakikita mo na na yung bilyon-bilyon sa isang kumpanya lang binibigay nung bata mong silaw at saka si Leong, 
Tapos talaga meron talagang conspiracy. Meron silang clean up butter. Pagkatapos yung mayari lahat yan, law, umalis ka na dyan, mayari mo na yung 9 billion, umalis ka na. Pag-apply ka sa ombudsman, eh natakot siya dahil medyo may ligalig doon, umalis siya. Ang nilagay nila yung number 2 ni, ni Lau, si Leong. Siya ang nilagay. Eh syempre, pag nilagay mo yan, eh paano ngayon yan? Pagka nagkakaso, akong bahala sa inyo. Akong bantay ninyo. Meron pang isang ipapasok sa Davao. Kasama rin sa Davao. Kaya kung misan, mahirap yung panay Davao ng Davao ang nilalagay. Marami naman magagaling sa Davao. Pero wag naman yung mga kaibigan lang na ng presidente sa Davao sapagkat pati mga matitinong mga tiga Davao nasasaktan sa ginagawa ng ilang salbahin ilan lang naman ng mga tiga Davao Sir, pasensya na po ay hindi ko lang po masyadong narinig Ano po yung pwede ikaso doon sa pambabastos po niya sa Senado at sa COA? May nabanggit po kayo kanina sir Well, uh, may pagka grave pressure, may pagka coercion yung sa COA yung violation of the Uh, respect for uh, constitutional body that is uh, uh, you know you're preventing them from doing their duty tinatakot mo sila intimidation uh, etong sa senado tinatakot mo yung mga senador uh, pang lalait sedition yun eh ang tawag doon sedition eh preventing a lawfully government constituted body from preventing their lawful duty sir uh, last Last na po for my part. Uh, sabi nyo, pagtapos ni Pangulong Duterte sa kanyang termino, ordinary citizen na siya, gaano po kabigat na mismong Blue Ribbon Committee ang nagre-recommend na pakasuhan na siya? Hindi ko na hindi yan, uh, maalang sorry. Meaning, sir, bilang after po ng term ng Pangulo, ordinary citizen na lang siya, no? Gano po kabigat na isang Blue Ribbon Committee po ng Senado ang nagpapakaso or nag-recommend na kasuhan si Pangulong Duterte? It's as heavy as any committee of uh, Congress or as any uh, law-abiding citizen. Everybody has a right to seek a court to in redress of grief. Go to court in redress of grievances. So, uh, the way this is the same. Whether it's filed by somebody with the same evidence as the blue ribbon, it should be taken the same by the courts. That's why the courts are there to measure the evidence of any citizen or any committee. Blue ribbon uh, cannot file by itself, you know, uh, uh, an offense. Uh, but any member can do that. Uh, and uh, the way it works, at least in America, when we see that the Senate or the lower house. pinapahuli na ng Attorney General yung ayaw humarap. Kaya, 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 kaya nangyari lang yan about two months ago sa Amerika. Sir, oh, sorry sir, may isa pa pala. Ihabol ko po ito. Uh, what do you say lang dun sa ano, sa tawag nito, uh, reaction po ni Attorney Topasio ng Farmady na tinawag pa rin po niyang Kangaroo Court ang Blue Ribbon Committee and from the very start it was just you lang naman daw po. Kayo lang daw po yung nasa hiling. That is to be expected from Mr. Tupasio, knowing him. I expect that from him. And I give it short strip. That's all for me, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. May Ann. So, next po si Sherry Ann Torres, ABS-CBN. Hi, Sherry. Hi, sir. Magandang tanghali. Opo, sir, bago yung questions ko sa inyo, you mentioned andito rin si Senator Pacquiao. I'm just wondering if we can also get his thoughts about this uh, partial committee report. Of course. I mean, it's up to him. Mm-hmm. Senator Manny, are you there? He's not yet there yet. Also. Is he there? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice job. Mm-hmm. Senator Mani, can we can we also get your uh, your thoughts um, tungkol po dito sa partial blue ribbon committee report? Nabasa niyo na po ba siya? Yes. Mm-mm. Your thoughts, sir? I uh, fully support the uh, the report, uh, the blue ribbon uh, report. Uh, Totoo naman lahat ng sinasabi doon, sinatol ko. Sir, ibig sabihin, true and true, mula doon sa 
uh, pagsasabi sa, ni Senator Gordon na betrayal of public trust hanggang dun sa mga enumerated personalities. Uh, you fully agree on this, sir? Lahat naman yan ay uh, dumaan sa investigation. Hindi lang naman isang luwisis na sa pag-investiga, hearing. Lahat uh, uh, at uh, yun, ang, yun ang naging resulta ng investigasyon at dapat uh, respetuhin at uh, igalang ng lahat. Sir, are you going to sign the committee report, sir? The partial committee report today? Yes, yes. Without any reservation to, sir, no? Without any reservation. Uh, tiwala ako dyan kay Gordon. Okay, thank you. Diwala ko kasi na trubog doon sa uh, kanyang mga report. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Senator Mami. Senator Gordon, sir, okay, balik thank lang you. ako. Thank you. Sir, balik lang ako, Senator Gordon, sir. Sir, uh, sa layman, para mas maintindihan lang. So, matatapos itong 18th Congress, andito yung uh, um, alleged violations committed by the President. Um, come uh, uh, sa next Congress, sir, do you or any of the groups who who presented their their uh, observations in the previous hearings, meron bang plano to file uh, the appropriate charges against uh, Duterte, sir? You know, the proper thing to do is expect, and I think he's an honorable man, he's going to be under heavy pressure, say Secretary Ibarra. Or it is uh, justice uh, uh, of the ombudsman, the si, uh, uh, yes, justice Sammy Martinez. No? Yes, I know them to be good men, with good character. It would be up to them, and I would not put pressure on them. Uh, I know that they would have to conduct an investigation themselves and see uh, the weight of the evidence, the logic behind uh, the, the decisions uh, that have been made. Uh, be that as it may, uh, again, uh, this at, our, uh, uh, at this time in our history, na talaga nahihirapan tayo at nahihirapan tayo sa pandemic, we're not looking for scapegoats, we're not looking for people to blame. Uh, we are just astounded at the temerity, yung talagang impunity, yung talagang Uh, ano ba sa Tagalog yun? Karimari-marim na talagang kalumal-tumal na attitude na ginawa nito mga taong ito. Banyaga pa. Mga banyaga pa. Na sumusunod sila. Na lukohin ang bayan. Na maaamin na hindi na namin binilang yan. Ano nyo? Tatarayin ko kayo? Palay ko kahit na si Secretary Duque hindi niya malalaman kung na-deliver lahat yung mga yan. Del consumable yan eh. Kaya ang dali-daling dayain. Kaya yung mga nanonood at nakikinig, napakadali pong dayain yan. Kaya yan ang pinili nila eh. Yan ang talagang nilinggis nila. Lusot na lusot. Kaya protektado sila ng, ng uh, tanatawag natin uh, uh, bank secrecy deposits. No? Protektado sila ng tinatawag natin uh, 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 money laundering. Lalo na may mga accusations. O, hindi ko naman sinasabing ito na si Michael Young ay involved sa drugs, no? Uh, uh, at uh, si Leong, no? Uh, Siyempre, alam naman natin, karamihan ng drugs ang gagaling sa China, sa mainland China. Hindi naman natin may tatanggi yan. Hindi naman lahat sila ganun, pero karamihan hanggang ngayon, uh, pinangako ng Pangulo na mawawala yan in six weeks, uh, in six months, eh, hanggang ngayon, na andyan. So, talaga ang dapat, ah, uh, Pansinin natin ito at uh, uh, hindi porke tapos na ito matatagalan. And this is my point now. This country is not famous for closure. You cannot seem to close who killed Benigno Aquino. Palagi na nagdududa tayo. Kasi ang inaatupag natin, hindi evidence. We question it. Eh. Tignan nyo kay O.J. Simpson. Dismiss na-dismiss. Pero, later on, nahuli siya, robbery, nakulong siya. Tignan nyo yung kay, uh, inagnako sa New York, si, uh, uh, ano pa nga si, yung scam doon, um, no, no, sa New York City, yung, uh, 
yung mayaman na mayaman uh, nakulong ka agad yun uh, at pati si Cuomo uh, nagkaroon ng kaso pero yung nagnakaw uh, pinag-usapan namin ni Mr. Kimbo yan kagabi uh, ano pa ano nun yung sa Bernie Madoff oh. he made off with a lot of money nakakulong siya even Prince Andrew is now being accused eh, hindi naman pwede porque malaki kang tao, exempted ka na. Hindi pwede porque malaki kang tao, we have no closure. Who killed Luna? Who killed Bonifacio? Uh, who betrayed the revolution? We cannot seem to have closure. Uh, ang dami-daming kaso. Na, uh, 7,000 people have been killed uh, by riding in tandem. Mahuhuli tapos sasabihin, eh, Nahuli nga namin pero dalawa ang tinuturo. No closure na naman. Hmm. Si Albayalde, no closure. Ang nagkaroon lang ng closure, yung ginawa namin Blue Ribbon. Yung dalawa, yung umiiyak na may panaral na relo at uh, binawasan pa yung 50 million ng 1,000 para hindi maging plunder. Ito malinaw eh. Nawala ang pera. Hindi maipakita. At ano nangyayari? Inimbisig ang maigi ng mga senador at paray ko, pasusi ang investigasyon. Umaming si Mago na pinapalitan nila. Yeah. Si si itong si Juan, nahuli namin yung corporate document. Dapat tingnan niyo yung corporate document na nakalagay doon. Pwede kumuha si Dion Wilson at any time ng pera. Siya lang ang pipirma makukuha niya ng pera at tingnan niyo yung sinabi ni President Wang na ginagawa niya para mabawi niya ng pera. Sa kabila ng pandilim lang niya na wala siyang kinalaman, na hindi siya nakikialam, later on, nabisto siya. Ang daming kasinungalingan. Kailangan isara natin ito at may maparusahan. Uh-uh. Sir, if you if you have your way, um, would you like to see Mr. Duterte behind bars and other personalities that you've mentioned? I, I, I will leave that to the courts because I will paint my finding by saying that. I am not biased. I have nothing against him personally. After all, we were both mayors. And, uh, uh, alam nyo, uh, the court should be the one to say who is guilty and who should go behind bars. Yung marami yan, mga sila sabi, oh, patayin nyo yan, di ba? Pag sinabi yung patayin, pinapatayin. Mali yan eh. Mali talaga yan eh. Kaya marami na mamatay na narinig lang doon sa boss, patayin, papatayin na. O shoot, shoot to kill, alam niyo bawal yan. O di kaya pipinturahan yung bahay na nasabihin, ito, bar, uh, drug pusher ang nakatira rito. Di ba? Ayan. O di kaya naman, ipaparada yung tao na nakalagay, mag drug pusher, ipaparada sa bahay. Yan ay kabawasan ng karapatan pang tao yan. Hindi dapat natin pinapatulan yan. Kaya ako, ginawa ko ang tungkulin ko, wala ko yung narinig sa akin, narinig ko, He may be charged with betrayal of public trust. He did it The court will now, the fiscals, the judges will now put it together. Ito, bawat sinabi nito, meron ba tayong ebidensya? Itong ebidensya nila, may papel, meron testigo. Yan, lalabas nyo yan. yan. And uh, so be it. Kung ano mangyayari, but I'm pretty sure we have very, very strong evidence beyond reasonable doubt. That's all I can say. Oh, sir, sorry, uh, um, for clarification ba? So, itong recommendations na to, automatically, sabi nyo nga, yung copy have been submitted to the Ombudsman, to the DOJ, and then nasa kanila na yung bola. No, we are, we are submitting to them. I don't know if they have been sent. I, I instructed it to be sent uh, hmm. to everyone. No. And you know, at this time, tingin na yun. Uh, I, I, I sent it to all media stations all over the world you know why uh-huh. because i want them to say that there is a rule of law there is a balance here somebody makes a mistake somebody will find a way to find charges and therefore mapagkakatiwalaan pa yung bayan na yan lalo na kung may mangyayari dyan kung wala mangyayari pagtatawanan na naman tayo huwag na kayo maniwala dyan moro moro lahat dyan o mali i, I, I withdraw that Mali yan, hindi, hindi tama yung moro-moro. Uh, lukuhan lang yan, kasong yan. Hindi totoo yan. So ito, pinapakita ko, transparency, in the interest of transparency. Makita nila that the laws are working, the Senate is working, and they can read it if they want to. 
and uh, they can see that the system is still working here in spite of intimidation in spite of threats we're still doing it uh -uh. sir i know you already mentioned or you already answered the allegation of attorney Tapasho. just to get also your side attorney fortune said they, they'd rather uh wait for the case to come up uh, to for the report to come up uh, as a formal case sa court. and also he said that ang nakikita daw naman kasi nila hindi to in aid of uh, uh, legislation but in aid of uh, re-election of the senators who investigated that. You're yeah, welcome to say that. I'm happy they're saying that. Thank you for reminding the people that I'm up for the election but I'm not using this for the election. Sorry. Maybe you should try running yourself. Maybe you might win. Perhaps you will lose because you are siding against the wrong people. Uh, with the wrong people. What I'm saying to you is this is the way it is. Uh, in my previous life as Blue Ribbon, I, I came out with a report and uh, it, it happens. And I know Mr. Tupasho, he uh, niya pa sa akin yung asawa niya, maging justice ng uh, Court of Appeals sa Supreme Court, kung di ba nagkakamali. And you know, he will do anything uh, to warm himself his, his way into uh, people with influence. I'm sorry, uh, uh, that's the way he is and I accept him the way he is. Wala tayong magagawa. Ganyan talaga siya eh. And siya naman si ito si attorney Juan, you know, we're all lawyers. We're all lawyers, you know. You can always, uh, I remember the late Justice Lexi Terena, who was a very good friend of mine, a very principled justice of this and I by and when I decided to take up law because my father was assassinated. Why are you taking law? Because my father was assassinated. Dick, you can always hire a lawyer. You're smart, you can get richer, faster than being a lawyer. But I said, I have to know the law. And you know what? That means that you can always buy a lawyer. And that's why I was asking him to explain, why do you talk with the lawyer of the person who killed my father? That's the way lawyers are. We're paid to do a job. We try to do our job professionally. I would assume that attorney uh, uh, Fortune is doing his job professionally. And I respect that. That's all I have to say. Mm -mm. Sir, uh, what will, what's going to happen to to the arrest warrant issued against attorney Lau? Uh, kasi matatapos na yung 18th Congress. Well, uh, I still trust the NBI. I still trust the police. Kung ako police, I will trust it. Pag hinuli niya at pinarusahan yung NBI, may, meron, magsa, meron mahuhuli dyan. Uh, Lau must be arrested. Siya ang nagbigay. Itanong mo naman sa bata, ibibigay mo ba ito magsusupply sa iyo ng bilyon-bilyon? <laughs> Hindi naman magagaling kung saan niya supply na susupply sa kanila na 9 billion. Ang kapital lang 625,000 pesos. Common sense na lang yan. Ako uh -huh. naman. Eh talagang uh, uh, pinipilit naman natin na talagang maling-mali yan na natin. Tama pa yung gagawin niya. I'm sorry. Uh, talagang dapat huliin niya si Lau. Sir, ano yun? Uh, clarification lang. Uh, yung validity niya uh, will last until, just during the 18th Congress. Same with the... Uh, there is no prescription. Uh, he can be charged and there will be no... The prescription will, will count only when he is charged. His arrest warrant, sir. Oh, there is no warrant. The arrest is for to attend the Congress. Not to, uh, not to put him in jail or submission. The arrest is because uh, we are protecting, we are not punishing him. The arrest is only to protect the Congress prerogative in aid of legislation and in aid of oversight. Mm, so whoever... By the, way, by the way, we have laws. We are going to abolish the PSDBM. Yeah. That's one of the laws. And we're going to take away, we're going to make sure that you're going to have it on legal, technical and financial requirements must be followed to the letter in the young uh, subject to the women caprice of Mr. Lau, people like Mr. Lau. Okay, so regardless as to who will be the next chairman of the Blue Ribbon, kailangan humarap pa rin si, si Lau sa next Congress? Well, it will depend. I have no control over the next Congress. Uh, okay. Last they, they, can, they can reopen it and uh, they're welcome to do that. Contempt orders are arrest orders stands. No, they they're arrest orders because ninisulto mo ang ang uh, senado, no? At malinaw yan sa mga decision ng Korte Suprema, lalo na yung Arnold case at yung Balag case. 
Huh? Okay, sir, last, how about the fate of uh, Mohit Dargani and Lincoln O? Detention. Mm. They will stay until the 30th of uh, July. Mm. Pero ba tayong hinihintay? 20th o, uh, 30th of June, sir, you mean? Yes, June, yes. June, June. Sorry, June. Alright. Thank you, sir. Si Mav na po. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, sir. Good morning. Mav po from GMA. Sir, you mentioned po kanina na no more time. Sir, masasabi po ba na ang possibility of impeachment is out for President Duterte? Or kung pwede pa po, ano po yung first step sa proseso? Well, the process would be this, uh, somebody will file or the ombudsman will file and they will have to file. Eh, sarado na ang Congress bukas eh. Walang session. So, paano bibilangin yung uh, grounds uh, to impeach? Diba? Uh, pagbalik namin, eh, siguro one week before... Uh, June 29, no? Uh, I don't exa- remember exactly. Uh, maaaring magabol pa doon. Uh, you know, at least one or eight days, maaaring magabol doon. Pero, you know, uh, uh, I think Clinton was impeached. Trump was impeached, pero hindi natuloy. Uh, memory serves correct. Mm-hmm. Sir, uh, dito po kasi, di ba, kapag impeachment, mag- magkakaroon din ng botohan sa lower house. And yes. me- medyo alam natin na merong super majority in the lower house. So, paano po kaya ito? Do you well, think it will fly in the house if ever magkaroon ng impeachment <laughs> case? You can see me smiling and laughing. Uh, they're, they're good men in the house. But the house is very susceptible to uh, uh, presidential exhortations. Uh, uh, and uh, nakita niyo na yung nangyari dun sa... Isang kubiti, I will not disrespect them even if they disrespect us. Eh, binun nyo, sina, istigo ng Senado, eh, pinasabi nila na pinilit raw namin. That's, that's foul. Hindi ginagawa yan. Hindi ginagawa yan. Unethical conduct yan. Sir, uh, natanong na rin po ito kanina na isa sa mga pieces of legislation na nang galing dito sa hearings ng Blue Ribbon Committee is to abolish the PSDBM. Aside from that, sir, ano pa po yung mga nakita ninyo from the proceedings na kailangang repasuhin or kailangang isabatas? Well, definitely, uh, ang gusto ko ma- masalimutan it will have to be the next Congress. Yung, uh, alam mo, maraming corruption na nangyari. Ang ganda-ganda na dapat kung court natin dito sa uh, tinatawag natin na uh, uh, procurement law. Napakasalimuot. Pag maraming salimuot, maraming lulusot. The other one, we, yung nga, overall of the procurement laws, pangalawa, we have to be strict sa immigration. Hindi nagbigay ka ng 50,000. Meron ka ng permanent resident visa. Saka yung BIR, hindi nagbabayad. Dapat sinisita nila yan. Eh, ang tao, pag hindi nagbayad, hindi nakahabol nila. Tapos itong uh, uh, mainland Chinese pumapasok dito. I remember I had an uncle who was an American. He had to pay his taxes religiously. He was working in the base and they were made to pay taxes. He had to see, see, see uh, Michael uh, Young. Nagkaroon ng maraming maraming properties. Ang kagarang kotse, ang katira sa magandang bahay, hindi binibiyayar. Eh, dapat talaga pakialaman niya. At uh, kailangan bigyan ng tools and technologies ang BIR at BI. So kayo mga kotse pumapasok na yan. Yan ba, na-check yan? Ang dami-dami kotse na may Porsche. Meron mga, you know, meron sa civil code, ostentatious display of wealth uh, during times of suffering. Uh, that can be, uh, there could be civil liability for that, right? Uh, eh, nakikita nyo, saan galing ang pera nitong si, si uh, Mohit na may bigyan niya ng regalo yung kanyang kapatid, tapos hindi pa siya magbabayad ng value added tax. Isa pang titignan natin, higpitan natin yung Bureau of Accountancy yung uh, uh, professional uh, regulatory commission sa accountancy no dapat eh nagre-report sila hindi yung iyan lang ang pinakita sa akin eh bahala na si Batman kaya kasama diyan si yung accountant naawa nga ako sa kanya yung binabayaran lang ng 4000 si Illuminada si Bial hindi siya nag-illuminate nagpadilim siya yes sir sir um meron lang po dito ang patanong si Ate Minfa Ang, oh, yes po. Ang tanong po niya, may pruweba raw po bang nakinabang sa pera si President Duterte? Dito po so, sa transactions na ito. Hindi naman yun ang nakapat, nakapatong lamang siya kanya eh. Uh, uh, sinasabi ko, this is a pre-planned pandemic. Uh, eh, 
nakita nyo, ayun lang pakita kung saan napunta yung pera, di ba? Pero nakita nyo, na-display siya ang gobyerno sa pera. So I don't have to prove na nakinabang. What I have to prove dito sa mga tao ito ay talagang they flouted the law. Hindi nila sinunod yung procurement law. They were favored. Nakalagay yan sa uh, ombudsman law. Uh, giving uh, manifest advantage, di ba? Uh, something manifestly disadvantageous to the government uh, and grossly disadvantageous to the government. Nakalagay yan. Clear unwanted, un- unwarranted benefits. Halimbawa ito sa Lincoln Ong. May 25 yung bayanihan ko. May 24, nag-uusap pa sila ni Lau. Nagpapadala na siya ng mga uh, supplies kay Lau. Na-receive niya yung request for quotation. Ang galing naman. Sobra naman talaga yan. Di ba? Alright. Sir, thank you po. Ang susunod po sa akin ay si Mara Cepeda from Rappler. Mara, good to hear from you. Yes, Mara. Sir, habang wala pa po si Ms. Mara, may nagpapatanong din po uh, kung after the President's term at walang ginawa ang DOJ at Ombudsman, willing ba siyang mag-file ng kaso laban sa Pangulo at the rest of the at the rest of the personality sa NASA partial report? Sino? <clears throat> Kayo po, sir. Uh, well, we will get there because uh, uh, that will become a personal thing already. I'd rather have the coach uh, the DOJ do that, but I, I would not be remiss. I would not shake from that responsibility if I have to. <coughs> By the way, hindi pa nga na-establish kung talaga bang na-deliver yung mga supplies. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Mara, go ahead. Hey, Senator Gordon, pasensya na. I guess I had a problem with my mic. Uh, two quick questions lang po from, from me, Senator Gordon. Yes. Um, wala po bang pwede nang mag-file at this point of the recommended complaints in your Blue Ribbon Committee report? And do you think that the Department of Justice can actually file these cases or at least start its own moto proprio investigation? I don't want the public to think that it is only the Department of Justice that can file. Any citizen can now file sa ombudsman. Do you think, sir, magkakaroon ng wait if, for example, senators would actually file the case kayo po yung nag-investiga? You know, it's about time our people wake up and that they file the case, they can get the Blue Ribbon Report, they can use as a consultant, and they can file the case. Mm-hmm. Now, Senator Gordon, you're seeking re-election in the, in the elections. Are you concerned that, you know, you're very hard-hitting reports, you know, um, I think Sinama nyo si President Duterte would affect your chances of being re-elected? No, it will not affect the chances of my re-election. Uh, principally because I think a lot of people do not believe the president anymore. He has lost ground. Nakita niya, bumaba na siya. And uh, I think my record will speak for itself. I don't run on the basis of primary. I run on the basis of my long-standing record uh, all the way from the Constitutional Convention, all the way from my being mayor, uh, one of the better mayors, if you will, in the country, if I may say so. Uh, all the way from uh, uh, Subic, uh, resuscitating Subic from Pinatubo, and the withdrawal of basis, resuscitating tourism and making it one of the engines of growth of the country, my record in the Senate, and certainly my 54 years of experience in the Red Cross, where we have built 151,000 houses. I'm going to Bicol. When I go to Bicol, we're inaugurating 164 houses that we're finished. When I go to Mindanao, we've done about uh, 70 houses in Mindanao uh, in the earthquake, and in Taipun Tisoy, another 50 houses in Mindoro. And I can go anywhere in the country, especially right now in you know, Odette. And I don't do it for politics sake. I do, I do it every day. I can show you pictures of my entire life, of my entire life, even when I was young, doing Red Cross work. I'm not worried about that. People should run on the basis of their record yes. and not on the basis of their money or on their empty promises. Senator Gordon, uh, may question po na pinapatanong si Hannah Borde of GMA News Online. May problem daw po kasi sa mic niya. Uh, I'll just read out her question. He wa- she wants to get your reaction to the statement of Congressman Aglipay that the Senate Blue Ribbon Report, and I quote, walang evidence to support the charges. 
uh, Congressman Adlipay said daw po that Michael Yang is not liable for any crime. Um, um, he is just a financer and lending money is not a crime and President Duterte uh, crime daw is appointing these officials in DPM and associating with Michael Yang. So essentially, the your house counterpart is discrediting your findings. We will not have a fight with Mr. Adlipay. I think he's very young and I think he's, uh, he's going to learn have to learn to do his homework. I, re I really just have to say that, uh, uh, of course, he will say that. He's a member of the committee that tried, that exonerated Michael Young. Kung di niya nakikita, hindi nagbabayad ng tax si Michael Young, then either mahirap imulat ang mata ng tao nagbubulag-bulaga, mahirap makinig ang tao nagbibingi-bingihan, at mahirap gisingin ang tao nagtutulog-tulungan. And besides, I know his father. I respect his father. I'm not going to tangle with him. Uh, I think he'll have to learn. I think he'll have to learn to be a better legislator than that. Thank you. Thank you, po, Senator Gordon. Sir, pahabul lang ako, sir. Si Sheriff. Yeah, Definitely, please, go ahead, Sheriff. Apo, sir, la, ano lang, just uh, for clarification, what will prompt you um, to for you to file the case against the the president or the other personalities uh, stated in your report? I've done my work, Chef. Let others do their work. And uh, if not others will do their work, well, if everybody will join me in a class suit, fine. Because I, uh, you know, if I have to argue my case in court, I will do that. Uh, but uh, the point is, uh, why are you looking at me? Haven't I done enough? <laughs> I think I've done enough. I think uh, uh, the court that convicted uh, Argosino, the court still keeps people. I have a. Uh, uh, called to task in jail. Do I have to arrest uh, this guy Pajardo? He's been hiding for a long time. You know, when my father died, I'll tell you my life story. When my father died, I was in Parker and Gamble in Brand. That was the best job in the world for any graduate. I had to quit that. I went to law school and every department of justice secretary I got to meet because I would lobby. Ask them, bakit hindi nasosog yung mga kaso I say that in behalf of young Lance Mendoza, whose father was shot on December 31 by an assassin riding in tandem, riding in a motorcycle. Uh, and ano siya ngayon? He will have to be a lawyer. Or I say that in behalf of uh, the son of Judge Rosales, who is now a lawyer, became a lawyer because his father was assassinated. Uh, on his way to work. To my mind, this country has to work and people have got to say, what hurts one hurts us all. We are all hurt by this. It's time that all of us step up on the plate. Huwag yung ituro lamang yung iba. Kung ganyan tayo, talaga wala mangyayari. Pag sinugod tayo ng banyaga, oh, ikaw na muna, huwag na muna ako, ikaw na muna, ganun ba mangyayari? No, we all have to follow our conscience and we all have to do it. If you ask me to lead, I will lead. Uh, but you have to come up and support. There are many young lawyers in UP, many young lawyers in Ateneo, young, many young lawyers in FEU, many young lawyers in the University of, uh, of uh, in Cebu and many other places. They should try this and do it. In my life, I have many cases that have been filed uh -huh. against me. Uh -huh. What if nobody files, sir? Well, that will, be, then that will show our definition as a country. I think some people will file. Okay. They talk, they've talked to you, sir. Some people yeah, will file. I think file. a lot of people are waiting. You know, you know how many calls I have to field every day. My wife has to field calls. My office has to field calls. Kailan lalabas? Kailan lalabas? Ilabas nyo na. Kailan malaman ng tao. Kapag nalaman ng tao, anong gagawin nyo ngayon? Okay. Thank you, sir. Salamat po. So, yan mga kabahan natin yung napakinggan ng uh, report ni Senator Gordon. Uh, atin din yung mga media nagtatanong tungkol sa report niya. At uh, yung mga report niya noon, napakarami din na pinakasuhan niya. Pero parang kaya tinatawag niyang parasyal dahil hindi pa pala tapos talaga ito. So, sana naman sa kanilang pagsampa, katuhanan, at saka dapat ma-hold itong mga 
kariyarian ng mga tao na ito. Para hindi pa marisan eh. Kasi ba maya, baka sampahan lang naman ng kaso. Eh, hanggang sampah lang. Eh, alam naman natin, pag sinampahan mo mga ito, mayayaman ng mga ito. Lalaban na lalaban ito eh. At minsan, na alam naman dyan si system sa ating bansa, uh, minsan nananaig pa yung ano, umabot pa ng habang-habang panahon. Minsan, umabot pa ng 10 years, 15 years, hindi pa tapos yung kaso. Dahil nga yung uh, kinakasuhan na mayaman, minsan ay eh, nadidismiss na lang sa sobrang haba ng kaso. Minsan napapalitan na lang yung judge ay eh, hindi pa natatapos yung kaso. So ganyan ang sistema sa ating bansa. Sana nabawiin yung mga ari-arian, i-hold, kumbaga, para hindi nila magamit. Kasi yun ang minsan, uh, nag-knockout, halimbawa, nag-knockout ang isang tao, ang yung ninakaw niya, yan din yung gagamitin niya pang depensa sa sarili niya. Yan din gagamitin niya pang depensa para tumagal ng kaso. Minsan yun eh. So hanggang dyan na lang mga kabanat. Ang ipin ko. Grabe. Ang ipin ko. Grabe kasakit eh. Parang ginabarinahan.